aquatic plant video and it's kind of not what I was intending to do with this um, YouTube channel since it was just going to be like houseplants and whatnot but with my houseplant tour I showed my aquarium a little bit and the aquatic plants are obviously for the, my aquarium um, but I also got a shipment of fish and I could not not film this for you because I am so excited got my new fish and they actually came a little bit early so technically I'm in class right now <laughs> but don't tell my teacher <laughs> okay so let's go to this unboxing okay let's go I will probably have to edit this a lot because this might take a while but this is of interest to you I know a lot of you don't like fish <laughs> maybe you do like fish I don't know that I have previously bought from them and products have been amazing. So I wanted to try again since we're still in lockdown and I'm still bored. I got a new filter because mine is so loud and I can hardly see. And this one is better. <laughs> my plants, my house plants. I use that as like, dirt collection. Oh, oh, we're getting there. So it was extremely well packaged. This is where the fish are actually in. And um, let's go for it. <laughs> I work, I try to do this all the time. It never works out. And yeah, I still continue to do it. That's life for ya. Sorry, that be really loud. So there's a heat pack, which is a little bit cold, but it did ship overnight. So, two spotted murite snails. They're actually really cute. I hope the camera can pick this. I don't really do these things, but we'll see. Bees. They shipped four? What? Oh no! Okay, so. see if the light will help. There are this fish that is called the rummy nose tetra and then inside are these little catfish called the herbrosis catfish. I don't know if you can see the little ones but Oh, it's just a baby. This is a German blue ram. Wow, the camera cannot pick him up, but he's right there. It's a German blue ram. I've had two previously, so I'm super excited. And then the Yamana shrimp. The Yamana shrimp. Um, they get shipped with like a little piece of moss so that they can have something to hold on to because shrimp are always holding on to something or swimming about but it's better to be holding on to something than ship just like this because then they'll get really stressed out so that's really good um, so my fish have been um, acclimatizing for at least half an hour and I put them into like, I have a three gallon, which I'm going to use as a quarantine tank. And then I also have like this little bin over here because the bags would not fit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with the snail. Actually, I 
should probably take them both out. But I'm gonna start. So once they've acclimatized, because they've been cold from traveling, they will have a lot of ammonia. So it's good to have a quarantine tank that already has a running filter who, that has beneficial bacteria already. So what I do is I grab this, put that there. We do not want the old water in the tank. So then I just plop them in. Okay. So you don't want them to be plopped like on their back because they're snails and it's really hard for them to get back up. So I just straighten them out. Let's take this out of here. Next is the shrimp. Just gonna cut. They're so cute. Make sure they're not in there. Okay, they're both in. Okay. Next is this, the German Blue Ram. He's not looking too great, but he his color has actually come back in a little bit more. So when fish are stressed, they lose their color. Look at him. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, there are five fish in here. Two little quarry cats, Hybrosis quarry cats, and three Remy nose tetras. The Remy nose are known for having this beautiful red nose, kind of like Rudolph. But right now, they are stressed, so their noses are white. Pull it in there. Okay. There you go. And the little ones are there too. Yes. So I generally don't know how to film fish. Um, the camera quality always gets terrible. And it's not like this tank is great anyways. I'm only keeping them in here for like a week and a half, maybe two, so that they can quarantine and I can see if they have any diseases, just monitor them. And once I am perfectly fine with their condition, then I can put them into the big tank, which now has two filters and I can't close the lid. Um, but yeah, so I will try my best and I'm really sorry if you can't see how beautiful and how cute these fish, shrimp, and snails are. <laughs> so. This little guy here is the German Blue Ram. Got the spotted nearite snails. Oh my. Okay, there it's focusing. They are moving because, as you can see, the gravel has like a line going through it. So they're alive and they're well. The Amano shrimp is right behind. He's eating. Look at that. Oh, I wish you can see how cute they are. He has spots all along its back. Um, and there's another Amano shrimp in here. But he is so tiny and I cannot see him. He was like near the filter. Not anymore. So I'm sure he's fine somewhere. <laughs> Um, these are the Remy noses. As you can tell, their noses are now red, which is amazing. That means they are not stressed anymore. I mean, I'm sure they are stressed because this is not their home. Um, but they did eat a little bit and their noses are red. I like their tails too. So these little fast ones are the, uh, Habrosis Corridoras. They are like dwarf sized, so they won't get that much bigger. I cannot zoom in or focus on them because they're really, really fast. 
they do this when they are stressed. Um, they usually stay on the bottom. They don't swim up like that. They swim on the bottom and they eat the pellets. Those are what those are. Um, but I can post pictures that I have found on Google so that you can better see the fish because I am not an expert at filming aquariums for fish and I just wanted to do an impromptu um, video. I'm sorry if that was not um, a normal plant video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and like, and thank you. Have a great day.